Yeah, how's it gang? So I'm out here again, grinding it out, doing spotted stock hunting. I got out a little late today because I, I want to see them all bedded already before I come out. So I got out like about 7.30. So I spotted a herd right about 250 yards of what I bedded down under one silver oak tree. So I'm gonna start making my stock now. As I was watching the herd that I spotted by my truck, I looked to my right and I see this buck looking at me. But he couldn't make out what I was. So I slowly crept down and started to take this video and make my plan of attack. Instead of going after the herd that I saw first, I wanted to go after this buck. Because he was in a good position that I could go around to the right and I'd be upwind of him. I spent a little time checking him out and looking at his horns. Making sure there was no other animal with him and I couldn't see any other animal. But um, I noticed a sticker on his um, eye guards on the right side which is a little weaker. It's shorter than the left. But to me he was a good buck to pursue and I started my stock. it gang update on that stock I am now 100 yards from where that buck was now I'm shedding my my shoes and my back going full stealth mode right there yeah so hopefully I can close the distance to about maybe 40 or 50 and Try and harvest this spot. Wish me luck, gang. So after the dog got spooked, the buck went down um, to this bowl and bedded down. I actually got in close to 40 yards and took this video I was I was waiting for him for about an hour to stand up and trying to position for the best shooting scenario for me and the best opening that I could get but this is the best area that I could find with all the grass being too crunchy it's like cornflakes I couldn't get any closer there was no cover between me and him so 40 yards was the closest I can get and only at this position I can see his horn and he did stand up and change position one time but didn't quite st stood up but at this point the wind was starting to swirl um, I guess there were thermals over there so he started to stand up so I was getting ready and as he stood up, he, he wasn't stopping. He just kept on walking away from me. So my pin was at 40. And I was just guessing for a yardage. Somehow I didn't, I didn't uh, change my pin to where he was. He, he must have been about 58 where I shot him. So I was just compensating as far as my pin height is concerned. As I'm about to go full draw, I grunted at him to try to stop him from walking. But not realizing my pin was still at 40, he must have been at 50, 80 yards in. Bruh. It's 
all over. Hey gang, well, that concludes my morning stock, spot and stock. I'm gonna let them, I'm gonna head back home and let them settle down. Hopefully I can get back on one other box that I saw this morning. I'm gonna come back this evening and try and locate them and try to do another one. Hopefully Luck is in my favor this evening, so stay tuned. Hey, how's it gang? Update on that buck yesterday that I shot. I came back out this morning, try to look for him again. But um, I've been unsuccessful so far, but I'm watching a whole herd under that tree right there bedded. So yeah, maybe I'll try to come back tomorrow afternoon and look for that buck yesterday again a rump shot on him, bad shot, but I'm trying my best to look for him. I looked for him yesterday, got a few stocks in yesterday, shot one, missed, hit a branch, but I'm doing the same thing today again, looking for him, and I'm seeing some animals, and they're all under that tree, so stay tuned. How's it gang? So I shot a buck at uh, well he was he must have been at 18 coming towards me with my bow and shots and I shot him a little high so I'm gonna give him time to expire. Hopefully I can find him easily. And it's kind of late of the, in the day already. It's about, I think it's about, it's almost 10 o'clock. But 
that's my whole purpose was to come out late and find them bedded or meet them where they're going to bed so this buck was coming straight towards me and I, I gave him a shot maybe slightly quartering in but I know my shot is high and I couldn't find my arrow I don't know if it's in him but I'm gonna give him time check back with you guys later hey gang update I just found my buck I just went straight to where I heard him crash and I found some blood but some areas were missing were drying up because I gave him about an hour but I found him he is oh man check him out I see him right there see this top right there it's hard to see in the sun but even I cannot see him in this camera <laughs> but let's go to him just right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah, there he is right there. Oh man. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I knew my shot was kind of high, but watering in slightly so the arrow might be in him yeah guys and today I forgot my tacticam so no record of the shot shots right there kind of high but it was going downhill so it went down into the lungs He's not bad. Big body. Plenty meat. Alright. There's my mozzie broadhead, guys. I can feel them. All blade. I think I used this from my rifle hunt yet. But the blade stall. Gotta replace one. Hundred green of devastation right there. So it was slightly quartering too. Broke. But Brian is good to go again. Just need to sharpen it. Check that out. 